Hi, Blockchain Visionaries, I'm George Levy. I'm currently at Blockchain Center in Miami, Florida. And for this week's video, I'm actually gonna bring you a selection of different visualizations of how to see Bitcoin. You see, every time you use Bitcoin and you do a transaction, there's a whole lot of activity going on in the network. Well, I'm gonna give you different ways where you can see all this exciting activity going on all around the world so you can see Bitcoin working hard. Now, if you're a new viewer, I encourage you to hit subscribe and hit the bell as every single week I bring you brand new videos. Now, let's get on with this video and see all the action. In this video, I want to take you through a different view of Bitcoin. And I want to stress the fact that Bitcoin is a public blockchain. As a public blockchain, it means that all of the transactions that take place on Bitcoin are public and you can see them and analyze them. You may be familiar with what a block explorer is. Right now, we're looking at blockchain.com slash explorer, which is a block explorer, which is put together by blockchain. If you actually look at the block explorer, you will find all the latest blocks that have taken place and that have been created on the Bitcoin blockchain. You'll find that as of this moment, the latest block is number 601,693. This is going to be the block hash for that specific block. You can find how, uh, what's the height, the timestamp of when it was done. You can see the number of transactions, and there's a wealth of information available. In fact, we can go down. Let's go to the, the previous block right before that, 601,692. I can find the information for that one. You can see uh, which is the height. You can even see the miner that actually created that block. You can find the timestamp of when it was created. You can see the number of transactions. There's a lot of information. If you go inside, you can actually see all the transactions that are here. And you can, do you can actually click into any of those transactions and see all the details about it. Now, this is a very common way of looking at Bitcoin, and it's what people typically use whenever you want to find out if a transaction has been confirmed or if you just want to prove to somebody that transaction has actually been created and that it's been added to the Bitcoin blockchain. A block explorer is what you would use, and there are many of these. Blockchain.com slash explorer is just one. But I want to take you now into different visualizations of the data that's inside Bitcoin. To do that, I'm going to start taking you through different viewpoints using the fact that the information on Bitcoin is public and you can massage it and use it in many different ways. I'm going to take you one through one of my favorite ones. This is actually called Bitcoin VR and what it does is that it actually takes Bitcoin transactions and it gives you a visual representation as balloons or as zeppelins or blimps. In this specific case, what you find is that balloons are transactions that are less than 50 Bitcoins in size. For instance, this was 0 0.03 Bitcoins this one's actually, let me see, this one's 0.33 Bitcoins. Here's another one of 0.02 Bitcoins. These are 0.02. And what you can see in all of these is you can actually see how much that would be in US dollars. You can even see the block hash, I'm sorry, the specific transaction hash for that transaction. See, all that information is available on this visualization. You can find this visualization at bitcoin-vr.github.io. And this is just one way of looking at Bitcoin. I'm going to take you through several others because it's a lot of fun. And you can really start thinking about the fact that Bitcoin is working 24 hours a day, seven days a week, around the clock. There's no holidays. There's no taking days off. There's no Sunday off. The bank is closed. None of that. Bitcoin works around the clock and it's constantly working. I want to take you now to Fiat Leak. FiatLeak.com gives you a totally different visualization and this one actually focuses on transactions as they are taking place across different exchanges worldwide. And that information is actually telling you how fiat currency, that is a currency that's actually created by, by central banks, just stuff like dollars and euros and yen, and they're being converted into Bitcoin. And you can start seeing how there's, we call it a fiat leak, there's a leak from the fiat into cryptocurrency. Here you've got euros being converted into Bitcoin. Right there you saw Japanese yen being converted. Here is Turkish lira. Interesting, Turkish lira. You can see here that's Mexican pesos. Here's Brazilian reales. So you can really step for some time and really see how Bitcoin is actually interacting and how fiat currencies are converted into Bitcoin. And you can see that across the board. Right now what you're seeing here are Nigerian Nairas. I didn't actually know the name of their currency, 
Uh, these are Canadian dollars. These are being converted into Bitcoin. So if you want to spend some time, you can really see how much volume there is going across all these different uh, currencies and switching into Bitcoin. The next one I want to focus into is real-time Bitcoin because it also gives you other information you normally don't see. So what you see here is the exchange rate and this is an average of what Bitcoin is trading for across multiple exchanges. But you can also see other information such as network power consumption. Now this is not exact. This is what's estimated. But you can see the power consumption for the Bitcoin network. And you can see the number of Bitcoins in circulation. Right now there are 18,021,175. And that number grows by 12.5 approximately every 10 minutes. And will eventually reach the maximum which will be 21 million. But we will not reach that number until the year 2140. This one is one of my personal favorites. This is found at blocks.wizb.it and what it lets you see is transactions taking place all around the world and what it does is it moves the planet to go around to show you these transactions. In fact whenever a new block is created it also is reflected and it shows you where it was actually created. So it's a very interesting visualization of what's going on right now in the Bitcoin network all around the world. And you can see the variety of places. You can see London, you can see Honolulu, you can see here Dallas, you can see Dublin. So you can see how many different places and where Bitcoin is right now uh, being uh, used all around the world and it's happening in real time. As I mentioned, this is at blocks.wizb.it. The next one is also very interesting. It's called Bitbunkers. Now this one's got sound to it. And what you hear is all the transactions that are taking place. And as you go through these transactions, you will see that they are all taking place and they are based on the size of the transaction. We have right now a new block that was created. That was block number 601,692. Let me go right now and I'm going to refresh that to see what type of visualization I can get from these. And you can see here we go. Block 601,693 just took place. And these are the different transactions that are inside. If I click on any of them, you can actually see the details for that transaction. So let's go into one of these right here. I can see the transaction hash for it. I can see the time. I can see the various inputs and outputs for that transaction and even the transaction hash. Now this is a very interesting specific uh, visualization that's put together by Bill Fodel. Bill Fodel is actually a very interesting wallet um, that's actually a metal wallet and it's actually meant for you to keep your private keys safely. So if you actually have a paper wallet or you have any type of off you know, chain cold storage, Bill Fodel is a very, very valuable uh, tool that you can look at. You can find this visualization at billfoddle.com slash pages slash bitbonkers. I'm going to mute this right now because I want to take you to another one which I think is actually one of my absolute favorites. This one is bitlisten and I am going to actually unmute it so you hear what we have. This is the sound of Bitcoin as new transactions are taking place all around the world. You can even choose different instruments. Let me go back to Celesta. And what's interesting about it is that all of these are real-time transactions all happening around the world. Check out this massive one that's coming in. Look at this. Look at the size of that transaction that's coming in. So that was 2,868.18 Bitcoins. I hope you enjoy them and uh, don't forget to click like. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I encourage you to do so. I publish brand new videos every single week. I look forward to sharing the next one with you. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something in the process. I bring you brand new videos every single week, so make sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, I'm George Levy. We're changing the world one blockchain at a time. See you next time.